Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day, 2024. Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth here for Longmont Public Media. Friday, February 16th, just a couple days from now, we have a first quarter moon. It's going to be cloudy and snowy, so you probably won't see it, but you will on Saturday. Uh, sun is looking pretty active. There's a lot of sunspot activity going on right now. Looking at drought conditions, things got noticeably better on the northeast plains and some of the western slope here. Uh, I still have some southern mountains that uh, need some moisture. Looking nationwide, pretty large decrease of drought in many locations. It's kind of shrinking all over. Smoke, nothing to talk about. I've tried to align this animation a little better because they were hopping around a lot. But we're moving in on the 7th, and here's the 14th. So you see we just about got to 100%. We're 94% statewide of snowpack, though. It's better than less, so that's good. We're close to 100%. percent be nice to get up into this territory, but uh, we'll see. Looking at that last storm, it really wasn't much of a mountain system at all. Uh, look at that. Boulder got less than an inch in all locations. I don't think I see anything over an inch. Uh, Longmont did a little bit better with ones, twos, and three inch totals. But if you pull into the state, Firestone got seven inches, and then up into this area, over a foot around Greeley and, and uh, in Well County. So there was a convergence line that set up right out there, kind of trapped all the moisture and really dumped. So lots of snow. You can see that amount of precipitation here, half inch to inch amounts, pretty impressive. For severe weather or even convection, you got a chance of thunder in Northern California and out in the plains a little bit. Nothing on Thursday, a little bit here in largely Arkansas Friday, but that's it. For Wednesday, we have <coughs> mountain snows up here. Thursday, still western slopes, maybe a little bit making it down into the plains, uh, fog in the morning, things like that. And then Friday, a little bit of snow will spread across uh, the rest of the state. So there's our snow chances for Friday. Our normals are going for 46 to 49, so we're starting to accelerate the climb and expecting warmer temperatures. 19 up to 21, so we've left the teens as a normal low. Here's our dip with that system. There's something more disorganized way out here around the 23rd, 22nd of February. We'll see what happens. Moisture-wise, there's more moisture streaming into the west. The uh, active uh, southern jet bringing plenty of moisture in. Uh, the only real system we have is this Friday, Saturday morning one. You can see this trough sweeping down from the north and a kind of a brief period of snow across the state. Over the next 14 days, I can see going into the weekend, we had that little ripple come through, and then this is the stronger trough right behind its ridging, so we'll warm up pretty quickly. There's a ridge, another ripple coming by, but that stays pretty much north of the state. A ridge right over us. And on the 22nd, 23rd, there's that hint of something coming for us, but uh, yeah, the ensembles are not in agreement. And then the ridge kind of digs back in with a cutoff, bringing more rain to California. Looking at temperatures, this time the cold air source is Canada. It's not extremely cold, um, but it's not Pacific cold either. You can see it coming down, being caught by the mountains, not able to get into the western side of the Rockies. Goes down into the deep south, and then with that ridging coming back, we go back to above normal, except where we have snow. So all the blues right in there are snowpack cooling. Moisture, we have uh, throughout the entire atmosphere precipitable water pretty good, a little bit above average. As that low comes by, then with the Canadian dry air comes uh, right on down. Looking at dew points, just look right in here, you can see this little fetch of moisture 
at the surface, pull into the system briefly, and then super dry air from Canada comes down again. So here is our system as it comes across the Rockies. Here's the front, low, creating some upslope, and more upslope along the front, and then it's gone. And I'll let this go for a little bit, but there really isn't anything big. That next plume goes north of us, so mm, nothing there. Here comes that next cutoff low in California. They are doing great with their water budget. That comes in and gets the western slopes. A little bit of rain on the uh, plains on the 23rd, so that could be just too warm for snow. So previous run of the model had one to three inches right along I-25. The latest run this morning cuts it back to a coating to an inch or two. The three inch uh, snow mounts kind of hug the foothills more closely. So Friday night's uh, system is just not gonna be that big as, that's as it looks right now. Over the next 10 days, uh, a little bit more might come in on the next system on the 23rd. So we have unusually warm 50s going into Friday where we do have temperatures cold enough for snow and then we bounce right back into the 50s and 60s for the beginning of next week. That's a holiday. Monday is President's Day. So for frequent weather updates as needed, longmontleader.com and great local news, this has been Chief Meteorologist John Ninsworth urging you to keep looking up.